Okay, I'm gonna show you how to fold and do not fold. Um, make a paper cube. This is really easy. All I, all you need. You don't need to buy anything. This is how to make it out of household items. I need the scissors. A pen that has ink in it, and a ruler, and a piece of paper that's white. It doesn't well, it can be other colors, but preferably white. So now you wanna take your ruler. We'll set our scissors aside for now, and take a ruler and mark out four inches. Like I already have done it right here. So I'm just gonna do an example and mark out four inches. So I'm gonna mark out four inches and four inches to zero. And then between each inch right here is four inch, which is this line. Um, three inch, two inch, one inch, zero inch. And you want to do the same with this side, but not do all these markings. And when you do one side, you want to go to the very end of it and mark off one inch right here. Right here is one inch. I'm just going to write a quick example. Four inches and and one inch. Sorry, I have horrible handwriting. So, so you can read that. Or, so, four inches here, one inch here, four inch, one inch. Okay, so four inch, one inch, four inch, one inch. Okay, and make a mark off each inch. With that. And now you want to go to each of these markings. I'm gonna. Okay, you want to go to each of these markings and put your ruler straight against them and go all the way across. You have a straight line where that is. What you're supposed to, what you're trying to make now is four squares connected to each other. Okay, so now we have four squares in here. So we need a ruler one more time. And I'm gonna go to the second square down to one, two. This is the square we wanna be working on. With the side of them, on these, on this side, and this side, you want to make another square attach right here. So uh, that's one inch, a one inch by one inch. So, right here is one inch. And right here is one inch. Are right, those two lines? You're probably gonna want to do it on the other side. Well, you have to do it on the other side. Try to go ex ex straight to the to the one, not past it. Cause they make it. Thing is confusing. So now you have your two lines right here, or one inch, and just do the other part of it. When you're done, you have a little cross. Now you need to put your. You don't need these things anymore. From white, all you need is your scissors. Now you just want to cut on the outside lines. So I 
I rough cut it is. Let me get a, a close up on this. When you get it, you just cut on all the outside lines. Well, you know, we got cut. Okay. So now you have the cross. These are scraps. You can throw these away. You don't need any of them. And this part, I'm going to And you also need some tape. And yeah, so you need tape. And yeah, so tape. I'm gonna take your tape out. And well first, you don't even need tape exactly now, but you will. I'm gonna zoom in on this. Yeah, so you also want to fold on all those creases. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. How is this hard? Huh? Oh, why is this? I'm so stupid. Just fold on all those creases. No, not fold on all those creases, make creases. on all those lines. Ah, but never. You're gonna make this in the shape of a cube. So we're gonna take some tape. It could be scotch. And we're gonna take these two edges and line them up. Line them up and tape. Well, you get it. You just tape everything, and then you'll have um, a cube. This is a much better cube. I like it a lot. It's much better. I am. I am boy. It's in my heart.
be dead. Yeah, you get it. You just. Congratulations, you have made a cube. I'm going to make a really fun stuff with it. Alright, so. 